Tucked behind the main street in St. John's, on East Railroad Street, is what's left of the Clinton Northern Railway Center. After being caught in the unfortunate path of a tornado in 1920, the depot was rebuilt a year later and has stood ever since. After a state-provided grant of more than $100,000, the depot was restored in 2001 and turned into a museum commemorating the city's railroad history. Since then, Jenny and Gary McCampbell, members of the Clinton County Art Council, have been given the position of museum curators. Here's Greg McCampbell on the process of restoration. When you do restoration, uh, in this particular case, we're talking about research because we don't know what this looked like. We didn't know how it came together. While we look around, we see holes in the side of it. And these holes would indicate that, in fact, it had steel bars on it. You know, we look around. This wasn't here. It's the wrong kind of wood. That wall wasn't here. Wrong kind of wood. Now, you notice we got clear windows up there. They look more like this when we got started. So we had to rebuild all of these. So there were so many details that we've had to learn because if we know what they had to do, then maybe it'll give us an idea of what kind of changes we have to make in here. The museum has acquired four train cars still in the process of being restored. The Marie and Annie, two decommissioned passenger cars, an RPO, which is short for the railroad post office train, and Scrappy, the caboose. Anyone interested in visiting can learn anything from the history of the railway to the mechanics of the train cars. I'm Jack Nissen, reporting for the Clinton County Chatter, signing off.